friends, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Get Cereal, the weekly show where I, your host, Alyssa Marino, eat cereal and talk about stuff. all know Cheerios are a classic. There are so many different varieties. Frosted Cheerios, Honey Nut Cheerios. They had one where it was like a mishmash of all the different kinds of Cheerios compiled into one. But the other day I saw a type of Cheerio I had never seen before. So today's cereal is, drum roll please, Blueberry Cheerios. <gasps> definitely have a very potent blueberry scent. We haven't done a word of the day in a really long time. Let's make potent. Potent. It's so very potent that it has potential. <laughs> One thing I will say about these, they're a lovely, lovely shade. Look at this. It's like a muted purple, and it's a little bit mottled. This is really lovely. Let's add our almond milk and make it a party. The Let's Get Cereal Queen of just enough almond milk. My friends, blueberry Cheerios. Let's get cereal. They're okay. It's interesting as the taste develops. It almost, to me, it tastes like someone took a regular Cheerio, which I actually really like, and just kind of dunked it into blueberries or kind of like whispered blueberry flavor over it. As if it were just like a little secret, a secret blueberry. I'll say as I keep chewing, the bite toward the end, aftertaste wise, just kind of tasted like a regular Cheerio which I'm not mad about because I really just like regular Cheerios. I will say, regular Cheerios are very versatile in the different kind of accoutrement that you can add to them. Dang, we're making up for lost time. Accoutrement. Another word of the day. It's another word of the day. You're getting a two for one word of the day treat. Original Cheerios, the taste is so versatile, you can add a lot of different stuff to it. I've added raspberries, banana, of course, blueberries. I've added blueberries to regular Cheerios before. My new favorite thing is I like to see what kind of taste sensations I can create. That's what we used to call in my family when you mix different things together or take a, a bite of something with a bite of something else, we call it a taste sensation. Different taste sensations that I can make with smoothies. My most recent development has been an almond milk smoothie base with peanut butter and raspberry and making it like a peanut butter and jelly. You're welcome for the idea. But I feel like with these blueberry Cheerios, I could add in banana and it would be delicioso. The further I go along in this bowl, the more that the mottled blueberry coating is kind of wearing off and they're just starting to taste like a bowl of normal Cheerios, which is fine. And also, the milk is just a beautiful color. I don't know if you can really see it that well. It is a beautiful blue lavender shade. Oh, stunning. Now, as opposed to last week, we actually have a little bit of interaction on my cereal box, which is great. So it looks like on the back, you cut these little blueberry friends out and it makes a memory game where you can pick up the ones that match each other and they have the same kind of blueberry expression on their blueberry faces. Let's do one of my favorite things. On the bottom here, blueberry rhyme time. Can you solve the answers to these clues using words that rhyme with blue? 
think we can. Number one, a place to see animals. A zoo. Number two, what you wear on your feet. I currently have slippers on, but it would be a shoe. Number three, the sound a cow makes. That would be moo. And number four, a number. That would be two. What other words do you like that rhyme with blue? Tell me below. Just comment below words that rhyme with blue. Mm. In fact, how about you write a haiku about the word blue while I chew. My friends, of course, we're doing a lot of talking about the word blue. The holidays are here, so just a reminder, if during the holiday season you are feeling blue, I'll make sure that I put some resources down below for you to check out for some love and support during the holiday season. Because I am always thinking of you. My friends, this has been quite a, quite a quick bowl, and it's about that time already. Bottoms up. You know what? I was just scrum diddly umptious. No complaints. Quite tasty. While it didn't blow me away and knock my socks off, I wasn't mad at it. It was fine. I would say it was downright enjoyable, as is every Saturday that I get to spend with you, my breakfast buddies. So until next time, continue to do your best to be your best. And I will see you later.